In this video, we will build a Markov model with the cohort simulation together in plain Excel. The model will include probabilistic sensitivity analysis, PSA, with Monte Carlo simulation, and also automatic generation of result tables, so we don't have to update all the tables manually every time we make a change in the input data. In the model, we will compare a drug treatment called the golden drug to uh, no treatment for an undefined illness. We will simulate a population that is called healthy. They are not perfectly healthy because they are in need of a treatment, as we will see. Uh, these individuals, the healthy population, runs a risk to develop an illness. And the illness is here represented by three states. We have ill the first year, ill after the first year, and very ill. And the illness is divided into three states because uh, risks are different between the states and also costs and uh, quality of life. Uh, this could be the case for example for uh, a cardiovascular disease. You have the year of the event, the cardiovascular event. This first year the risk of death is high, the costs are very high. But if you survive, you go into a period of lower risk of death and uh, lower costs, higher quality of life, but you run the risk to become more ill with higher costs and higher risks of death again. And this state, ill first year, is called a tunnel state because the individuals passing by here can not reside in this state. They will come here, stay one year and then directly move to uh, ill after the first year, if they don't die. The healthy population before they develop the disease are fully working, but once they have developed this illness, they are not working. So in these states, we will have uh, productivity losses. Treatment is given only in this state, healthy, for the healthy population. Once they have developed the illness, uh, no more treatment is, is given and the only treatment effect is on the risk of getting the illness. So uh, it's going to be paid for a drug here and the effect works on the risk of developing the illness. Once the patients are here, it's the same for both populations, the populations that was treated with the golden drug and the no treatment population. When the model is done, it will look like this. We will have a menu bar up here where you can control uh, model type, deterministic or probabilistic. This is only for the PSA. The age group, if we should simulate the patient population with the age between 40 to 49, 50 to 59 and so on. And the perspective, should we have a healthcare pay perspective or a societal perspective. The results are shown in this table. We have the cost for both treatments, golden drug and no treatment. We have the qualis, incremental cost and qualis, and the ICER. If I press this button, the PSA will start the Monte Carlo simulation and it will generate the ICER scatter plot and the cost effectiveness acceptability curve, the SEAC. This was on the sheet start page. Um, sheet model structure is the model structure that we saw before. Sheet input data, this is the data going into the Marco model. Start age, costs, utilities, treatment effect, discount rates. And over here is the data for um, or the calculations for the random sampling from distributions for the PSA. These are the fixed variables and on sheet tables we have the time dependent variables. The risks of getting ill, getting very ill, uh, dying and so on. Then we come to the actual Markov model. We have one arm called drug. This is the Markov model for the population that is treated with the golden drug. We have time dependent risks that will update with the choice of age. Healthy distribution 100% starts in healthy, but with time people get ill, very ill, and die. And we have a check here that it's always 100%. Nobody is leaving the model, nobody is joining the model. Costs, drug costs, healthcare costs, uh, productivity losses, total costs. 
and further to the right we have the qualis from the different health states. So here we have total cost, total qualis, these are the numbers that are fed to the result table on the first sheet. This was for the population that was treated with the golden drug. Similar or corresponding numbers for the population that didn't get any treatment at all. It looks the same but we don't have any drug costs here and we will have higher risks of getting the illness over here. Otherwise it's exactly the same. Sheet uh, controls. Here are some numbers and text that is used for the drop down menus on the first page. We could actually hide this one when we're done. Sheet stimulation. This is where the Monte Carlo simulation is performed. The graphs, the isoscatterplot and the SEAC is linking to this sheet. And finally the results table. So this is the table I will have in my uh, report. We will have um, uh, base case results for the different age groups and I want to show cost, qualis, incremental cost, qualis and ICER and I want to show the probability of cost effectiveness at different willingness to pay at 250,000 Swedish crowns, 500,000 and 750,000. These three numbers give a, a rough picture of the, of the SEAC. This could be handy to have in tables. Uh, if I would do this manually, I would have to go to the start page, change the uh, start age, copy the uh, uh, deterministic results, run the PSA and copy these numbers. Then go back, change to this age, do it all over again, a third time, a fourth time and so on down. Now I have written a macro instead that does this automatically. So if I press here, I will have all the results updated. So this was base case results. Then I have a scenario with 0% discounting, so no discounting on costs, no discounting on uh, effects. And the same, we have results stratified on the different age groups, cost qualis, incremental, ICER, and the numbers from the SEAC. And finally, we switch to a healthcare payer perspective. In the base case, we had society perspective and once again all the results for the four different age groups. So instead of updating this one manually I will just press run results table and it will do the work for me. This could take some time. Normally I start this macro, this kind of macros, uh, at night and I leave the computer overnight and in the morning I have a filled in table. Just like when you have a, a baking machine, you put, put in the flour and uh, all the ingredients and in the morning you have the newly baked bread. So if we do some change in the input data, some cost of the, maybe the cost of the new drug is updated to another number, we just need to press here to get all the results updated. This is our recipe, what we should do, in what order. We will start with some preparations, we will um, look at the input data, structure that, the fixed variables, also the tables, the age-depending risks, and we will create the drop-down menus on the start page so we can make quick choices between scenarios. Then we will start to build the actual model and we will start with ARM1, no treatment. First thing is the time-dependent risks uh, these differ by age, so we can't just copy them in there, we need to write the function so the risk will update with the start age, start age chosen on the start page. And these will be the risks for the transitions between the different health states. The risk of getting the illness, the risk of getting very ill, and the risk of death. These risks increase with age, so we can't just have one number, we need to have several numbers. Uh, once we have these risks, we can create the health state distribution. And this is the core of the whole model. Once we have this, the rest is, is quite easy. The health state distribution tells us what proportion of the population is in which health state. How many percent are healthy, how many have the illness, how many are dead, and so on. Once we have this, we just hang on the costs, the um, different healthcare costs and productivity losses and also the qualis, and we will discount the cost and the qualis. And then we will sum up 
the total costs and the total qualis and then we're actually done for the first arm because this will feed to the result table on the start page the total costs for uh, no treatment and the total qualis but let's actually add one more thing let's add a drop down menu so we can control the time horizon drop down menu for time horizon so that we quickly can see the results for different time horizons maybe for one year five years ten years and lifetime then we will continue with the second arm the golden drug and this one will be easy because we will copy everything from the first arm everything will be the same except for two things the drug cost and the treatment effect so we will have exactly the same equations everything then we just make sure to include a drug cost and the treatment effect and that's the only differences and then we will um, link the results the cost and the qualis from these two arms to the result table on the start page so we'll have cost and qualis for golden drug and no treatment incremental cost and qualis and the ISER and then we're actually done with the um, deterministic Markov model and we can continue with the PSA the probabilistic sensitivity analysis also here we start with some preparations we will prepare the input data with some calculations for the random sampling from distributions so we will use the mean and the standard error of each variable to create random sampling from, from distributions we will create a new drop down menu so we can choose between deterministic and probabilistic model deterministic model will be based on the mean values of each variable probabilistic model will be based on the random sampling and model value yeah that was what i said that we will have two different model values if we have the deterministic model the mean value will be fed to the model otherwise we will have random sampling and then we will write the macro the code to run the monte carlo simulation we will program it to run 1000 iterations of random sampling so we will get 1000 different results this will create the ISO scatter plot and the cost effectiveness acceptability curve, the SEAC. And then finally, we will write the code to uh, create automatic table of the results. <laughs>